Hey Castro Rockstar Seed, we got a quick video today, so basically if you're looking right down the screen, the Evercore 2 community basically, um, yesterday, last night, uh, for Christmas, they gave us some good, good information that could actually be very, very fun, so I read it last night, it's basically, happy holidays everyone, Evercore 2 is still in production, we aren't ready to release the game, the game yet, but we're confident we'll release it next year, which is good news, we do have confirmation it's gonna come next year, Unfortunately, we don't have an exact release date for all, for you all this time, which is not it's not bad. I mean, if they take they can take as much long as much time as they need to make sure the game is like 100% finished and perfect and everything is done. If there's a glitch, they could eventually somebody can go like, oh, there's a glitch here, they can fix. But I prefer if they fully finish the game, which is one thing. Then they say, um, let's see, we are planning on having another beta in the spring time, and we'll make a decision on the on the exact release date, the exact release date after. Now, that's a good information, because now we do have a confirmation that we're gonna get a freak, um, a beta in spring, which is next year, so we don't, we don't know when in spring, but it could be early spring, late spring, or middle of it, you know, which is very good, very good. To, for us to know like oh yeah we're, we're getting one in spring so we so that's pretty good like it could be january or something late early january late january or, or probably early february february it depends but that's pretty good news to, for us to know and then we're, uh, we're infinity appreciate you appreciate you the fans that have been patient waiting and we thank you all for your continued support we all hope you enjoy the holidays and have a happy new year and yeah that's pretty much it so that's good news for us we at least we do know like okay the game is gonna come next year which is something that i i knew it was gonna come next year they, they delayed the game twice so uh, of course it was gonna come next year I, I didn't i was thinking probably early january next year but by the looks of it it's probably gonna be my guess i'm guessing probably april may i'd say probably april may the game would be out probably like uh, early late April or early May I'd say the game will be out since they since the last time they basically um, talked about um, about Ever uh, well, uh, the last time Ill Infinity basically talked about um, Evercare and stuff like that they were like oh no we're adding DLC so we don't have to like uh, do what we did in the first game where we we added we had we had a lot of DLC intended for the game for after you beat it, but we couldn't do it in time. So we just basically just put it so you could buy it and download download it later, which they don't want it to do again because they already said they want to make sure they put like post story content so you have post story stuff after you beat the game. So yeah, also from the new art itself, it looks very, very different compared to the original one. Like if I go right now to the original one, so like if I literally go, so so this is literally the original art. It has like kind of the exact characters in a sense, but it has a but it has Evercrea one art style. If you look at really well and look Evercrea one art, it looks the same. But then when you look at the new one it looks very different very very different and i'm very excited to know when where this game is going to take place if, is it going to be like after ever created 2 if, by the looks of it, it it does look like it's going to take i mean is it going to take place after ever created 1 sorry by the looks of it it does look like it's going to take place after ever created 1 who knows how long because of the because there's some characters in in nebu too if you see nebu at the very top, he he got a major redesign. He looks more like an ancient, um, ancient like fossilized creature that's very very old, which makes kind of sense since he's been around for like ages, fighting a lot of champions. If you, if you just if you know like the small lore in Evercrayo, so Nebu was um, a very strong creo that defeated so many of the Alpha champions. Not, not just defeated, just dead just kill them because uh it was just too powerful they couldn't do anything to it and that's how it goes you know and nebu also has like generals and one of his generals is uh draco which is one of the ones you you basically defeated and draco is actually stronger than the prime curse for, for what i feel like because they um draco's um draco's rampage or anger is strong enough to basically 
um, make make craters around him, protect him and stuff like that. Like you, you little, when you go when you have the expansion and you go um, go to, towards Draco, there's so many craters just literally in your face, blocking you from getting to Draco, which is very cool. You know, they basically incentivize that when Draco is is angry or 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 its power just has an has influence on on Kratos to basically make them like make them oh oh he's he's powerful we have to help him out you know which is very cool anyway enough of that um, i hope this information helps you guys a lot i'm super excited for when it comes out if there's no news i'll immediately um talk to you guys about it so yeah hope you guys enjoyed see you guys later don't subscribe and have a nice day